Did you know in Star Rail that you can see if you will lose your 50 50ths to a standard character or not? やっと来たのね。Camilla is who I want. That is where my loyalties lie. That is who my priority is. Not the mother of your children. Don't bring the boys into this. Approved. Look at you. Mm. 
I don't know. Half birthday approved. It's now illegal. It's illegal. I don't know. Excellent argument. Approved. What's the worst that could happen? See? No consequences. Approved. 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 I don't know. Approved. No boomerangs, no hammers, no inventions, no spin attacks, no mayonnaise! Half birthday approved. It's illegal. I don't know. Building characters in Honkai Star Rail. I'm going to explain this in Genshin terms, so it's easier for everyone coming from Genshin to understand. So here's your character screen. We have details, light cone, traces, relics, and eidolons. And on the details screen, we can see the character's path and type. Paths are essentially roles. The game tells you whether your character is a single target DPS, a tank, a healer, etc, etc. And type is just the character's element. Light cone is essentially your weapon. Every character can use every light cone, but each one is assigned a path, just like characters are. So match your character in light cone path path for a huge bonus. Traces are the same as talents, except a little more in depth. Just make sure you level these up. Relics are just artifacts, except now there are six slots. And there are set bonuses for these, just like in Genshin. And lastly, Eidolons give bonuses for getting duplicates of a character, essentially just like constellations from Genshin. So instead of saying you have a C6 character, you'd say E6. And that's all there is to...